Did you know that cooking in condoms is a real trend in Japan? And small cakes for dogs are also very popular. And what is the idea behind this weird looking fish specialty? That's what we want to find out first, and so we go in search of shirako, a dish that looks a bit like a brain. It is said to have something to do with the poisonous pufferfish fugu. What exactly that is, we hope to find out in a market hall in Osaka. Yes, that's something new. We never used to eat it, but now people are crazy about it. It's inside the male pufferfish. What could it be? And why does only the male fish have it? You want to take a tasty fugo with you? <laughs> yes, I'd love to. We want to see exactly what the shirako inside the puffer fish is. For this, we've hired a sushi expert. But before we get there, let's have a look at another trend. For gourmets, there's a really weird cooking trend in Tokyo. Masa and Ayako are restaurant owners. There's a new trend they want to put on their menu. For this, they need something rather special. And they can find it in a drugstore. Condoms. Let's try this kind of condom sushi in our restaurant. And ice cream for dessert? Yeah, in a menthol-flavoured condom. With the shopping done for the most important part of our condom feast, it's now time for the preparation. Off to the restaurant. This bestseller tells you exactly how to cook with condoms. The book has only recently been published. Literally translated, it says, condom they want to give rice. For our store, let's try the condom ice cream. For this, we need eggs, milk, chocolate syrup and condoms. After the mixture of milk, cream, eggs and sugar has been stirred, it is just poured into a condom. Don't forget the knot afterwards, of course. Condoms can withstand temperatures as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius. Ayako and Masa have asked their colleagues Yuki and Kazami to help. Hi. So we're eating condom dishes today. Right. The restaurant is testing a total of three dishes today. Dish number two is condom sushi. It's just totally ridiculous and crazy. Crazy. That's it. But maybe it tastes good anyway. Now we have to boil the rice and peel the avocados. I can't wait to see what the end result will be. Now, all that's left is to fill the condom. Really fiddly work. The way this is layered, it looks quite good. Condom sushi is ready. Dish number three will be a condom meatloaf. This should be good. By the way, eating out of a condom is just as safe as eating out of any plastic food container. And the lubricant is biodegradable and suitable for consumption. Put it in the pot and bring it to the boil. But won't the condom burst in the process? Nonsense, they're Japanese condoms, they won't burst. <laughs> and believe it or not, it's true. A condom can even survive being boiled, but at temperatures above 65 degrees, it's no longer suitable as a contraceptive. <laughs> this tastes like a hamburger. The condom sushi is now unwrapped. And it seems to taste very good. <laughs> now our cameraman wants to see for himself. I thought you would somehow taste the condom. There's some lubricant or something on it. But you don't notice anything. I mean, they basically put it in there raw. It tastes like sushi. <laughs> the ice cream from the menthol condom is also ready. 
Will it make it onto the menu of Ayako's and Masa's restaurant? Is it good? Delicious, but it doesn't taste like menthol. So the two of them have a new concept, which they will integrate into their restaurant. Food from condoms, a new food trend in Japan. Just like Shurako. We finally want to know what this is. In Osaka, we've arranged to meet sushi master Ayamamoto in a hip fish restaurant. Shirako, translated means wild child. But what is it exactly? Something inside the blowfish that looks like a brain. Shirako is the fish's milk. An incredible delicacy, especially from the expensive puffer fish. It's in great demand. But fish don't give any milk. And male fish definitely don't. The milk's right here, you can feel it. The best time for fish milk is December or January, that's when it's matured. He separates the mouth and fins of the dead fish before he skins it with a skilled hand. The master has been doing this for 10 years. So here you see the fish milk, the sperm of the fugu. What, the sperm? Yes, the fish sperm, a real delicacy. Fish sperm or milk is rich in amino acids, important for our body because we cannot produce them ourselves. Yes, very tasty. The sperm is in the skin. My guests pay a lot of money for this. It costs up to 5,000 yen. That's about 40 euros for something that looks like two little white sausages. The fish milk differ depending on the type of fish. The milk from cots will be much smaller than the one of the fugu. You could eat this raw, like sushi. But I like it the way my guests also prefer to eat it, cooked over charcoal. This is the most gentle method because this way the seminal fluid can curdle slower. Another pinch of salt and it's ready to go on the barbecue. The first guests for tonight are already arriving. The cooking time for the sperm is always different. In addition to the barbecued version, the guests have also ordered a boiled version of the sperm. This is really almost like a German Brühwurst. The sperm is simply boiled. The milled sausage needs a bit more time. During this, Ayamamoto can serve the charcoal grilled variety. Add some lime and the grilled sperm is ready. The boiled milk has a softer consistency and is served with herbs. Perfect! The guests are already waiting hungrily for their shirako. Bon appétit! And what does the blowfish shirako taste like? Delicious. In that case, it's time for the second course. Grilled churaco from the fugu with a cold beer and... It tastes a little like cheese. Very good. It's worth the money. Well, we're not sure about that. Time for our cameraman to give it a go himself. Can he bring himself to try it? After all, it's sperm. We give him some time to think about it. In Tokyo, there are some four-legged friends who look very happy. No wonder, they can eat cake. Ono Yakido wants to give them a real treat today. Today, there is something very special. Dog cake, only for you. Enjoy it. The pumpkin bone is gone in a flash, but they do seem to think it's a bit strange, eating themselves, so to speak. I think they liked it. They're not the only ones. These cakes are in great demand. We are in Japan's only dog cake pastry shop. Owner Hisako Nayo specializes in personalized dog cakes. You can even send her a photo of the puppy and she conjures up a treat in its likeness. 
At first, I only made them as a gimmick for restaurant guests. But when they posted my cakes online, I got loads of requests. I closed my restaurant and specialized in it. Such beautiful treats, but are they only meant for man's best friend? The dock biscuits with pumpkin are especially delicious. Sometimes even the dock owners themselves eat them. And they can do that without any worries, for the little cakes are 100% vegetarian. Some puppies are also allergic to wheat or eggs, but potatoes are sweet and all dogs like potatoes. The first order today is a cake with a small Maltese dock on it. First, I will mold sweet potatoes into the basic shape of a dog. Mean she has made more than 3,000 cakes. Dog breeds with a lot of fur are particularly challenging. There, the mold's done. Hizako Nayo uses black tea to colour the nose and tongue and black sesame to colour the eyes. The cake's base consists of several layers – pumpkin, potato and spinach add flavour and colour. Every time I make a cake, I get faster and better. Especially at doggy birthday parties, Hizako Nayo's dog cakes are a big hit. The small cakes can be individually designed for your four-legged friend. They can even have their names put on them. The dog's gonna love this cake. And after a total of five hours of caring handiwork, the result is truly impressive. These little cakes cost between 25 and 60 euros. Back in Osaka, our cameraman Sasha will now try the food trend Shirako, fish sperm. The boiled fish sperm, it's got a bit of the same texture too. It's pretty wobbly, so let's see. Yes, it tastes a little bit, it tastes like fish eggs, but actually it is sperm, fish sperm, fish milk. Like cheese. Yeah, a bit like cheese, processed cheese, so amazingly enough, it's not too bad. We note, sperm from blowfish doesn't taste that bad, even if it looks like a brain when it's raw. <laughs> 